Hey, what's up there, Fisher Unitech community? Toby Schnars here, and today we're going to talk about how to make threads in SolidWorks. The good news is that ever since the release of SolidWorks 2016, this process really couldn't be easier. We can simply go into the command insert features thread. We then choose an edge of our model and go through and populate our thread specifications. Once we're done doing that, we can hit the green check mark and there are our threads. It really doesn't get any easier than that. But a lot of users want to know how to create their own threads by sketching their own profile and doing a sweep cut. Well, that's what we're going to show you today. So we're going to start out with the helix that we created in the previous video as we were modeling this hex cap screw. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top plane and begin a sketch. Now the reason we're choosing the top plane is because when we created the helix, the helix ended at zero degrees, so that's exactly where our top plane is. So we're going to begin a new sketch there on the top plane, and now we're ready to sketch the actual thread profile. Now this is where the real magic happens, because there's a lot of different techniques on how to do this, where should the plane be located, and ideally you're going to stick to the specifications in the machinist handbook. But if you don't have those specifications, or if you're creating a custom thread, you know, then you might have a little bit more play as far as how you create this thread. Me, what I do is I always create half the thread at first. Then I take this vertical line here and I make it for construction. Next what I do is a window selection of the entire sketch and then I go up here to the mirror entities command and that gives me the same thread profile on both sides of that center line. Now what I do is I take a point and just put it kind of anywhere here on the center line and then I put a dimension here from that point to this very top line. And the reason I've got that dimension there is because I want there to be a little bit of overlap between where the thread is cutting and the very outermost part of the shaft. Just a few thou, say 0.003 inches. Now I'm going to click on that point that I had sketched and I'm going to hold control and I'm going to pick the helix. And I'm going to assign what's called a Pierce relationship. Pierce relationship. And that's going to hook that sketch to the helix exactly at that point. Now I'm ready to put in my final dimension. So maybe what I'll do is I'll say that I want the distance here uh, from peak to peak to be, I don't know, 0 0.042. Uh, the pitch is 0 0.050, so that should get me more or less in the ballpark. I'm going to make the flat here at the bottom uh, just 5 thou, uh, just to, again, kind of get myself close. I, I know these aren't exactly the right numbers per the machinist handbook. I'm just trying to give you guys something close to work off of. And then finally, I'm going to put in a dimension here. Maybe I'll uh, take the, the pitch dimension, and I'll just give myself a pitch dimension right from this location here. So I'll just grab the midpoint of that line there and just drop in a little center line, let's say. And then I'm going to drop in a center line off of the origin here. And I'm going to say that I want the pitch diameter to go from this point to that center line that I created and then across. And then if I look at my spec sheet, it is 0.2127. All right, that should definitely get me something that, that looks pretty good for this cut thread. And again, it'll be up to you to make sure that your numbers are exactly perfect. I'm just trying to show you how to get in there and create that sketch. So now I'm going to exit that sketch. And once I exit that sketch, I'm going to go to the command here, Features, Swept Cut. And I'm going to choose to sweep that sketch that I created along the helix that I created in the previous video. I'm seeing a preview here, which means that I should be in the right direction, and I hit the green check mark, and there we go. We were able to do a cut sweep of the threads. Now, one common thing that I've seen users run into is they end up with these little slivers here uh, where, the, the, heel, where the, the triangle is trying to cut into the model. And one way that you can avoid that is just by giving yourself a little bit of extra material like what I did by adding that 0 .003 dimension just to overlap the thread a little bit beyond the outside of the part. Now to create the lead-in for this part up at the top, what I like to do is I like to just create a simple cut revolve. Um, you don't have to do it with a chamfer. In fact, you might struggle to do it with a chamfer because there's not really a clean edge there to chamfer off. But you can do it really quickly and easily just by creating a simple triangle here. So I pick up the, the uh, edge of the silhouette here, come down like so, come back like so, up to this corner like so. I think that looks pretty good. A lot of times I'll make these two equal, and then I'll just put in some value there that I think is appropriate, and I'll uh, say, let's, let's say we put in a value value here of um, 30 thou. And then what we'll do is we'll say that we want this edge here to be in line with the very top edge of our model. So we'll make those two collinear. And now we've set ourselves up to do a nice cut revolve. 
So we'll do a cut revolve there. I think that adds a real nice chamfer, a real nice lead in there for that screw. Okay, we're done with the helix, so we can hide that. And I think that's going to take care of how to create threads in SolidWorks. Let's save this model. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to assign material to this hex cap screw.